Are we two minutes late or <laughs> are they two minutes early? Oh, wait. Ooh, it's, right. it's true. Oh. All right. Welcome, we live. Welcome, 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 everyone. <laughs> two minutes late. Apologies. We were just getting really pumped for such a fun, fun exactly. lesson. Super pumped. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Pumped up. So how are you doing today? And we already have one viewer. All um, right. Yeah, I'm not bad. Another fine quarantine day. Waiting yep. for freedom. Another day in the queue. Gonna go <laughs> to the... Another day in the queue. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go to the grocery shop later. Exciting. Oh, good luck with that. Have you been yeah. yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah I did. I went... I've been going... I've been going once a week, um, yeah. so I should go on Friday, but I don't want to wait another two days. It looks so nice outside, so uh, I've just been true. eating really fast to, <laughs> to have a reason to go. <laughs> I love how like, you can't go unless, unless you do that. I need to justify it. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I need to go. And how too. are you, Susan? Uh, I'm all right. A little hot today, actually. It's getting warmer. It is about, getting warmer. Yeah. Oh man. But yeah, besides that, all good. summers, summers are coming. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're gonna miss out on all the spring. Oh man. All righty. So, what are we talking about Deal today? <laughs> I think there's Ooh, a little bit of delay. today. Maybe. <laughs> so today we're looking at what's the word. And I've realized we've not even introduced ourselves. We're just oh, we're so yeah. comfortable. We're so, we're so used to seeing you guys. Yeah. We're all friends here. Um, but just in case anyone is a new friend, I am Jadine from England. And I live in Milan. <laughs> all right. Oh, and I am Caesar, and I also <laughs> live in Milan. I thought you were gonna go. Like I thought you were gonna tell you know them more about yourself. I was keeping. I was staying mysterious. I don't know. Ah, okay, okay. Don't want to give okay, too then, much away. All right, all right, yeah. Save it for the next webinar. Second webinar. Never give. Never give it all away on the first webinar. That's my policy too. No. Absolutely. Got hook them in, and then. <laughs> Reel it in. All right. If you so join me in the Caesar. evening webinars, I'm reading from my diary. So. Oh man. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I can see we have word? one viewer. Yes. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Exactly. Um, but yes, and if we what's keep the word? this up, we're not gonna have that one either. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the exclamation oh, point man. might have been a bit much, maybe too much. I'm just, I'm though. excited. I mean, I'm excited. If, if it was me watching, I would have social anxiety right now. <laughs> Please, <laughs> please introduce yourself. There we go. Much better. <laughs> All right, so what's the word? All right, so what are we talking about today? So in this focus activity, we will be describing unknown objects, checking comprehension, and looking at relative pronouns. Um, and also kind of just playing a big fun game. And this is a great game for any language learner um, to, yeah, to play, to practice, to work on their vocabulary, to learn new words. Exactly. A little bit of charades in here. All right, so let's go ahead and kick things off. So we've got who, where, and that. So we have a couple of questions for you guys here. Uh, make sure you comment in the comments if you're not too shy. Not, that's okay. We got it. Uh, so we've got the first one. 
What is the name of the place where you borrow books? So oh. scared him away. We literally scared. Him. <laughs> Was that you watching? No, they'll come back, Caesar. Oh uh, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Um, so the name of the place you borrow books. This I think is a false friend in Italian. Mm, yeah. Um, absolutely. Because we are, and I see two viewers. For those of us joining us, please introduce yourselves. Say hi. Where are you from? Um, and maybe we'll just read through all of the questions then to give you a chance to type an answer yeah, if you have exactly. one. Don't be shy, so then, guys. No, we love interaction. Oh, Hi, yeah. Aria. Ah, oh, such a cool name. Ooh, Aria. Don't know if you if you watched uh, Game of Thrones. No. That's such a nice name. This cannot be a name. This is oh. a name. That's so cool. <laughs> what you mean? Hello from Ho Chi Minh. Okay, cool. Very international. Very yeah. international group. Or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm sure in Vietnam it has a slightly different spelling, so don't worry too much. Don't exactly. worry. No judgment here. Okay. All right. No judgment. So we have some questions. Okay. No, I'm older than the series. Fair enough. But did you watch it? Ah, she was Aria with a Y. Oh, with a Y. Uh, okay. okay. It's a bit different. But do you do you pronounce it the same or is it slightly different? Because this is a new name for me. Aria, I've not uh, I've not heard anyone name, but yeah. really, really in English in Italian it actually huh. means air. Ah, of course. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so but you pronounce it the same. Thank you. Okay, so we have question one. What is the name of the place where you borrow books? Question two, what do you call the person who works there? And question three, what is the thing that you use to save your place in a book called? Oh yeah. And Caesar, oh, you're you so uh, you're so fluent in Italian. <laughs> oh yes, I like it a lot. I pride myself in my uh, Italian fluency. <laughs> Try. <laughs> All right. Um, do you read a lot? Just while we're waiting for the answers. Uh no, not really. Well, I mean, no. <laughs> yes and no. I don't read books. I don't read novels, but I like reading like articles and stuff. Like on yeah. things that I'm interested in, like I don't know, like etymology, linguistics. Um, uh, uh, what else? Um, social things, psychology, that kind of stuff. How about you? No, oh, that's that's really cool. Um, I, as a side note, I like etymology. I should read more about it because I'm really bad with languages. So maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. I could be better. <laughs> Hi, Olga. Um, we're just answering oh, some welcome, questions. Olga. Um, but yeah, I read. I like to read. At the moment, you can see my shelves behind me. I have zero books, but <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping <laughs> maybe I thought, I'll get I one. You were making a joke in, here. In the... <laughs> It's a new house, okay? I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> okay, but, but Aria has given us an answer. And sorry, there is a slight delay between when we see your comments and when you send your comments. Okay. Um, but yeah, she says, the first could be library. Exactly. Well done. The first is library. Exactly. Yeah, so, we'll totally so we borrow say, books ah, from library the library yeah um but we buy books in a book shop or a bookstore exactly so is, don't is confuse me with one word libreria. bookstore bookshop uh maybe possibly yeah probably i feel no, like it's, it's i think bookshop too. is more 
<laughs> bookshop is more British and bookstore, I think, is more American. We don't really like, say yeah. store. Yeah. Okay. And we don't really say shop. We're not so cool then... like that. Really? <laughs> um, okay, so guys, question two. What do you call the person who works there? Mm. Who works in a library? A bookshopper? A bookstore? <laughs> A, li a library. A library. A library. A library. Madam library. Ooh, I like that. That should be a word, but yeah. no. Oh, yeah, right. has it. A librarian for the person. Yes. Fantastic. Absolutely. Area is and what you on the ball today. Oh, props. I don't have any books and you have props. Oh, you're just I've showing it off. All. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so a librarian works in a library and probably who works in a bookshop or a bookstore, we just say a shop assistant. Yeah. In any type of shop or store. Yeah. This can be clothes, this can be for a food. shop assistant, a store assistant. No, just kidding. Yeah, that doesn't if you're exist. American. Don't forget, guys, <laughs> no, no, we... don't say shop. <laughs> no, we actually would say shop assistant. Not oh, would you? Assistant. <laughs> yeah, shop assistant everywhere. Oh, this my This one we goodness. actually do use. Everywhere. Universal. And we have Emma from Rome. Don't worry about oh, being late. Emma. Started very slowly. So <laughs> we're just on the first slide. Besides, um, we're playing... Our policy is better late than never yes i like yeah, that you. phrase yeah you um, use it a lot oh yes yes <laughs> yes but not because i'm late because i am consistently early or on time and everybody else is late so uh, i'm always the one waiting like well <laughs> <laughs> that, better late, better late than never. Um, so yeah, we're just answering some questions. We said earlier that today we're going to um, play some games, which should really help with your vocabulary and hopefully be fun. Um, yeah. So we've answered the first two questions. Emma, maybe you can try number three. Is the thing that you use to save your place in a book called an aria? has a suggestion i don't know mm. great <laughs> i like that i start conversations like this as well i'm not <laughs> sure <laughs> but the third could be a bookmark put between pages if i understand the question you did you did understand the question yeah um so this is yeah it's called a bookmark and we say that it saves your place or it saves your page. Um, yeah. Like in the name, if you press save, it just means that you can return to this place later. Exactly. So we call it and save. Ooh. And in a video game, do we call it a bookmark? Or does it have another name in a video game? Oh, I got right. I'm rhymes. not I got sure. Bars. Actually, is it? Is it called a bookmark? What is it called? So in a video game, I think it's similar to what we have at the end of every level in my ass. Hashtag marketing. It is called a checkpoint. Ah. <laughs> a checkpoint. Okay. So if you guys play, um, you know, uh, or played Crash Bandicoot, checkpoint. All right, shout out to the okay, old fantastic. You know, classics. All right. Ooh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, go past that. All right, here we go. <laughs> so now we're going to play a little game called Pyramid, which is what we have here. Okay. We are going to take turns um describing things okay 
to try to get the other person <laughs> to yes. Yes, I love it with the A. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like really excited. Yes, <laughs> yes, I love it. Very good. Once upon a time. Wait, once upon a time. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> she she loved it. Back in the day. Yeah. Woo, games. All right. So we'll start off with these, with the pictures, and then we'll go ahead and you know, have our own examples. Okay, so we'll, uh, what category do you want to start with? Um, I guess we should start with the bottom of the pyramid <clears throat> and work our way to the, the things you find in your house. Okay. And maybe I'll start describing things in my house if we yeah. run out of words. <laughs> Absolutely. We're very limited, very limited in my house, but I'll find something. Yeah. Do you want to start at the beach or in your pocket? Ooh, I want to start in my pocket, please. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Walk it in my pocket. Absolutely. Oh, and Emma agrees as well. Oh, Things you okay. can fit in your pocket. Perfect. All right. So should I leave this comment up so yes. that we can't see the, exactly. the words? Oh, that's genius. I didn't even think of that. What are the words? Okay, so Emma, Aria, and anyone else who joins us. So aggressive. You have uh, <laughs> you have uh, these three suggestions of things you can put in your pocket. Or if you have your own word as well, then um, you can also type, give us some clues about things you can put in your pocket. Exactly. Um, so we'll give you guys some examples. So for example, <clears throat> number one, how, how would you describe that? So I would say, um, <laughs> I am not good at this game. I was going to say it's small, <laughs> but that's, <laughs> um, it's generic? something that you use. Yeah, very generic. <laughs> um, no, it's something that you use um, to contain or to hold your cash or your credit cards. Exactly. Cash. Cash money millionaires. What? what? But would you <laughs> would you know what it is from my description? Yeah, yeah. With cash and money, yeah, absolutely. So, what do we call this in English? Well, so I think that? with these. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say I think with these games, it's always fun if you try to um, <laughs> if you try to describe describe it but with like really obscure descriptions yeah <laughs> where it's just enough yeah. just enough to get it so oh, Ari has given the answer yes wallet exactly yeah. so we call it a wallet or if it's for a woman as well sometimes we call it a purse but try to Ooh. describe one of these things to us aria mm. so rather than the vocabulary of the item we want to hear the description we want to know how you would describe it so. Yeah. And wallet in the US, we would actually use both for men and women. But purse in the US would be for the handbag. <clears throat> ah, really? Yeah. yeah so know. Aria says, I did not understand if we have to describe paraphrasing or guess the term. Um, you can guess the word, but we also, we want you to focus on your descriptions and then we can talk about different adjectives. We can use different ways to describe things kind of like the game taboo. Yes. Which I have right here. <clears throat> you have taboo or have you ever played articulate? I don't know mm -hmm. if articulate is the British one. Oh but yeah. I love it. Sounds interesting. I love like yeah. word games and, and all these kinds of things like word games and all that. Oh man, we gotta have like a game night. Oh man, you missed yes. when we played Cards Against Humanity in the school. So crazy. We can do it. And we'll yeah. do like a big webinar one as well. Webinar center event, board game night. Let's do it. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yep. Aria, Olga, you're witnessing a, a moment of greatness right here. Yeah. A star is born. 
<laughs> okay, so Caesar. Um, okay, Lady Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Ari is given the description. Oh, yes. And then I would like you to give one as well. But yeah, this is perfect. <clears throat> so the second is the object we use to open the door and which is often lost. Absolutely. Perfect. 100%. You got it. Aria, you hit really the nail fantastic. on the head. No, a great phrase. Yeah. So in English, we say you hit the nail on the head. This means you got the answer completely correct. It was perfect. All right. What about the last one? The last one is quite a creepy photo, I think. Yeah. Why is it going to be that hand? <laughs> I'm not sure. Although I have um oh, in wait, my family we we all the, the ladies have very old hands. I yeah. have very old hands, so probably that is what my hand looks like. <laughs> oh man. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> blessings. Yeah. Squire's family blessings. Um and can you think of anything else that you would put in your pocket other than these three things? That maybe we can try and guess. Mm. Oh, let's see. Um. Ooh. Okay, I got you. I got you. So it's something you carry in your pockets, and it's usually loose. It's usually, ah, okay, you've got a bit of a riddle there, I think. Yeah, Susan. riddle me this, guys. I, I got to challenge Aria more because she's, she's, she's too on it. It's too easy for her, so I got to make it a little bit harder. This is true. So just to, uh, to make it clear to you guys, this is not something in the pictures. Um, this is something else that Caesar usually carries in his pockets. Um, yeah, not really. And maybe <laughs> many of you do as well. <laughs> something you may carry in your pockets. Exactly. There you go. I personally hate carrying this in my pockets. Uh, it's just, you know, because usually I have my phone in my pocket or my wallet in my pocket or my keys so you know it, if i if i have There's that a in lot, my pocket a lot too, it's too in much. the pockets exactly you're going to need a belt to stop your trousers from falling down from the weight yeah, of exactly. all of these things in your pockets the weight of the world madness in my pockets <laughs> okay so does anyone have any suggestions for what season might carry in his pockets or any descriptions for picture number three, which is a very, very creepy looking hand. Oh, nice, Aria. I love Ooh. it. You use it to high five. Yes. That was great. And so we would just say is at the end of the arm because we like to use at to talk about position. So it's at the end of the arm. And you can wear rings on it. Really, really fantastic. And here I would uh, just repeat uh, oh God. it just because the the subject of the first phrase is you. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see that. So I would say it is the end just because it's a different subject from the first part. Oh, Olga's curious. Should we tell her? She says, what is it? A credit card? Um, I, it's a good. It's a good suggestion. I know why you would say credit card, but the I think the trick here is that Caesar has said <laughs> bubble gum <laughs> is usually loose, oh, okay. um, and this is from. <laughs> I guess it's kind of from a phrase that we yeah. have. Exactly. And in this case, it would be change, <laughs> and we can say pocket change. We can yeah. say loose change. So this is just coins in your pocket, and we call it pocket change. Yeah, so not, not in a wallet. 
Here's our clip. Wallet, youth, wallet. Okay, but well done, guys. Exactly. All right. Are we ready to level up? Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, Aria, coins. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Aria is on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> you are burning up, Aria. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's see. Since we are in Italy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Never mind. I forgot to cover it before. Uh, That's okay. Uh, it's okay. We're not That's guessing okay. the we're not yeah. guessing the words. Yeah. So how would you guys describe these? Mm. So here you have the words. So what are the words here? Some of them have tricky pronunciation. That's true. So we have shark, sandcastle. So the T in sandcastle is silent um, and lifeguard. Exactly. That T is in the mm. witness protection program. It's got to be quiet. <laughs> well, snitches get stitches. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to choose one of these. <laughs> I love this, guys. I woke up charged. Woke up charged. <laughs> ah, I think but... she means like Karika. Okay, so how would you yeah, say you've got you got to tell me? I th I think that makes fine sense. Yeah, love it. It's yeah. very metaphorical. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, like, to charged, me, it's like charged like a like a mobile, like yeah. ready to yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I woke up ready. I woke up like. Yeah, I would say like I woke up ready. Man, I need your routine, Aria. I yeah. wake up near death, so <laughs> uncharged. <laughs> uncharged, very uncharged. <laughs> like less than Dying. fifty percent. Um. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Emma says the first is a photo of big fishes. Yes, that's true. So. These big fishes are called sharks. But one thing, <laughs> ah, okay, I like it. They are a killer fish. So fish is, um, is the plural of fish is fish. <laughs> Whenever I'm with Caesar, I'm unable to describe anything, <laughs> I think, because uh, <laughs> I've heard legend of his grammatical explanations. So I'm just oh, okay. going to let you take it. Uh, yeah, so fish, one fish, two fish, green fish, blue fish. So fish is similar to città in Italian. So una città, due città. So it's always uh, the same, even in, you know, the plural form. Fantastic. Um, yes. So we're not just describing um, the photo, though we want to describe the thing in the photo. So here we have a picture of sharks and imagine if uh, one of us was blind, so we could not see. Um, how would you describe the picture without saying the word shark? Because maybe I don't know what a shark is. <laughs> Are they hammerhead sharks though? I don't see any hammerhead sharks here. I also don't see any hammerheads. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, Aria. Yeah, hammerheads kind of have... Um, if you've ever seen Finding Nemo... Yes. Fish is uh, the little Not intervention food. shark. Yes, I got you guys. <laughs> I got sharks on deck here. So this is a hammerhead shark. Yes. So strange, so unusual. Yeah, I know. Um, Weird. So if I describe 
Oh, wow. I guess. This is, this is fantastic. So they are the protagonists. So the protagonist is the main character um, in English, is the main character. They are the protagonists of fam a famous, or maybe more, famous Spielberg films. You usually see their Finn arrive first. Exactly. That is great. Really good. And if anyone doesn't know what the fin is, it's the thing on the on the back when you normally see sharks walking around like this. Exactly. Um turn on. Turn on, turn on. <laughs> There you go, guys. <laughs> In case. Wow. Okay, so um I I'm nervous now about describing one of these because Aria is so good. I know like right? my descriptions are not gonna they're not gonna match up, but I'll try. Yeah. Um so okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bit ambiguous. Ooh, so maybe not I something like that that you it will be it will be clear straight away. So um No, I can't do it. It's so hard. <laughs> I was gonna say you find them on the beach, but yeah, we're doing things you see at the beach. Oh yeah. Um, that's good. Oh, I got and... one. Again. Okay, you go. I'm. You know, I'm more of a guesser anyway, guys. <laughs> I like to guess. <laughs> I like to take part. <laughs> Wait, did it send? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's where beach kings rule. Yes. Okay, then, then I've got another one. So one is where beach kings rule and the other... We all did it as children with wet sand and all their children often passed to destroy it, yes. Good. I like that. The only thing is, if I didn't know what sand was, then maybe we would need a different type of description. So maybe instead of saying with wet sand, we'd say um, <laughs> with wet floor of the beach. I don't know. <laughs> maybe in taboo. Maybe in taboo. <laughs> in taboo. Yeah. And I would say instead of we all did it as, as children, I would say we all made it as children. Because you don't do a sandcastle, but you make a sandcastle. Yeah. If you say we all did That's it as true. children, it can sound a little, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I know, that, uh, in, I know that in this um, webinar, we are being very... Um, jokey but actually this is a really useful task because if you're speaking to someone in english um they don't speak italian and you don't know the correct word you're trying to describe something and you don't know the word being able to describe the things around it so they know what you're talking about is really important um exactly. so it's really good to practice that <laughs> aria says i love it yours are riddles <laughs> <laughs> yes don't forget, we, we always need the subject. Exactly. So I adore it. Exactly. Or I love it. Love it. With a U, though. Love it. All right. And the last one, how would we describe the last one? What do you think, Aria? I would say Pamela Anderson. Slow-mo. The true kid. She's not on every beach. Yeah, but is it but she should they watch, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> should have. I don't know about now. <laughs> Maybe in the past. I, yeah. I mean unless you're into that. I'm I'm no one to judge. No, me either. This is no. a safe zone, people. Yeah. No judgment zone. Yeah, so what can we say about the last one? Maybe I'd say something about the um, the outfits because I do love their little outfits, like orange jumpsuits. 
and just some kind of I think something bright something really bright so I'm used to it I always forget the right terms and I have to sweat <laughs> to make them guess I really it's the make panic you sweat. <laughs> oh, right. it's the panic which is please because it okay. happens to me too but the other way around Oh, yeah. there we go. So in the 80s or, or 90s, they ran on the beach in red bathing suits. Fantastic. I would just add and Emma, to Aria's explanation in slow motion. <laughs> but then the answer would definitely be Pamela Anderson. <laughs> or The Rock, if you're being more modern. Man, yeah. I love The Rock. Yeah. Um but yes, people that can help us. Maybe it was just a typo. But don't forget, we spell help with an E, Emma. Oh. Um, if we have a problem on the beach. Yeah, and you can also talk about what kind of problems as well. So maybe if you're having a problem, not on the beach, but in the sea. Yeah. Or if you're um, having trouble swimming. If it's there. getting very scary. Exactly. Oh if God, number one and number two, you know, threaten your life, number three will help you. If number two threatens your life, <laughs> the castle or the sand? The sand castle. It's oh, a unit. Jesus. We've all we've all seen that <laughs> that episode of Scooby Doo where the sand comes to life. Yeah. Um, okay, so the people. Not that, um, uh, we don't talk about people, like, I can't speak. <laughs> so the people. Yeah. We can say the people or those people, yeah. um, because plural, um, exactly. that is singular. So exactly. the people that can help, even if we are not on the beach. Mm. Very nice. Uh, some people wait what I don't I know this like... one <laughs> I feel like this is like a song maybe is this from is this from Baywatch <laughs> tell us Aria I'm sorry I don't know where this is from oh is it oh man yeah references though all right, shall we move up, Caesar? Yeah, yeah, let's go to the last category. Move that way we can level. challenge them with some of our own and have them guess. Ah, okay, it was the song of the series. Now I'm gonna have to Google that later. Ah, okay, like the theme song. Okay, so All things right. you find in your house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. I don't know. I I, I can think of two of these. I don't want to find in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Say hello to Helen, everyone. <laughs> Who is Helen? This is Helen. Doesn't she look like a Helen to you? <laughs> Maybe she seems nice though. I like the haircut. Yeah, she's Very got the Helen cut. The Helen cut. Um. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Ooh, I got one for number one. Okay. I've got one as well. So we're looking for something squeaky that eats all the cheese. Ooh, yes. And again, this could be one of two, depending, depending. Wait, oh. 
Oh, wow. Okay. The second is the animal in which Peter Pettigrew transforms. So maybe two which Peter Pettigrew transforms or the animal Peter Pettigrew transforms into is probably yeah. more common. <laughs> and then, no, Caesar. I'm fresh from Harry Potter, but don't worry because I also have the slides and he'll come back in a second. But yes, Aria, I love it. Really, really great. You are, do you write? Are you someone who writes, Aria? Because, oh, oh, he's back. Maybe. I'll get them slides. But yeah, your descriptions uh, are. Oh, oh. Can you can you see me? Hello. All right, here Welcome. I am. I don't know what happened, but it just threw me out. Yeah, no, it's okay. It, it does that to the best of us. But look at yeah. this description. So the second one is the animal. Um, but yeah, we say which Peter Pettigrew transforms into. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and I love the explanation as well. I'm fresh from Harry Potter. <laughs> fresh out the <laughs> Potter house. And I don't know the third one. If she, if she was, because remember, just singular, at home, I would call the police. <laughs> Someone who shouldn't be in your apartment. I don't know, Aria, if you saw it said mother at the bottom. <laughs> But again, I don't want to judge. I don't I, know what I, your I relationship think that's exactly is like she wrote that. with uh, with Mama Spada. She don't like Helen. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Susan, you are good. You got my inner poet coming out. <laughs> Like it, so your eyes are known as your soul's version of these. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, Aria. She didn't see the description. So, do uh, you change it now that it's your mother? Now you know it's your mother. Would you still call the police? She's probably gonna say, Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine coming home and seeing a woman dressed like that sitting on your I sofa? Guess. Like, <laughs> she says, I guess. <laughs> What's <was> up? <laughs> um. You open the first one when there is good weather and when it rains, the rain beats on it. It's oh, fantastic. I like it. I feel like that's almost So what about Caesars? Maybe. I can't Maybe. say I'm well versed in haiku. But ah, that was good. <laughs> so, that was good. So what are your, your eyes known as the soul's version of? Riddle me this, guys. What y'all think? That's good, actually. There are lots of other phrases to do with these. We could say... Yeah. As well, you can be as quiet as one of these. Ooh. Harry says doors. <laughs> your eyes are the doors to your soul. <laughs> almost, almost. So in English we say the windows. <laughs> the windows to my soul. Yes, yes I think because you can see in, you can see the soul, but you can't quite enter. So I think that's the difference between the, the doors and the windows. Yeah. No one's going into your soul. Exactly. Please don't. <laughs> Okay. That's some kind of Ursula stuff. <laughs> and I would say for the th third one, uh, my brother is from another one of these. <laughs> oh, God. 
good. If you know, you know, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any for us? Planet. Wait, planet? <laughs> oh, I like it. Planet. Brother from another planet. But we are still describing uh, the pictures, Aria. Yeah, yeah. We're still describing the pictures. Because in English, we say, for example, your best friend is, you know, a, your brother from another mother. Or for women, we say, my sister from another mister. Exactly. We don't gender discriminate, guys. Exactly. I don't discriminate. I annihilate every shade of that. What? <laughs> So there you go, you guys. Exactly. Okay. Ah, mom. Yeah, you got that. There we go. Mom. So, mom, if you're American, or mom, if you're from if the you're UK. Stewie. Mom. Mom. Mother. 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 Mom. 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 Mommy. I have Mommy. um. Fun fact, I have a brother who tomorrow is going to be two years old. And um, he can speak, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can speak a little bit. He's just a baby, yeah. he knows some words, but one word he does know is, mom! Yeah, mom! Oh, man. <laughs> Just hear it in the background. He, uh, he cannot string a sentence together. This is another phrase to say, cannot make a sentence, but can say, mom! And I don't know who taught him to call yeah. mum like that, but yeah. I love it. Oh man. So uh, Aria here has a little Italian expression. <laughs> she said, Ooh. I do not understand a tube. So in English, we say, I didn't understand squat or jack squat. Because we, we all understand tubes. We played Super Mario growing up, so. We ain't got a problem understanding those. Okay. Exactly. All right. So we'll go ahead and wrap up right there. Thank you very much, everyone. We will see you very soon. Keep up the great work. Bye. And great descriptions, guys. Really nice. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.